But what if you know better than them and you can What? Teach but them that's what I guess the point is well, why are you raising them? Why don't you just go find a man who's no. ready to be there right Well, there. I'm with you on that. I don't think that you can expect anybody to be better to be a better version of themselves than they are when you meet them. Hopefully we're all becoming better people at all times, but I don't think you can be with someone and expect them to change. But if you have some ideas for ways that they can improve, what I've learned is you can't just tell them what to do because no one wants to be told you should do this, right? That yeah, automatically okay. makes us defensive. But y'all do it but anyway. You can leave no, no, hear me out. You can leave them with questions. You can ask them questions about things, and maybe mm. they'll you guys find got, their way. I'm not talking about us like we're dogs, like we're animals. Maybe no, we just no, need to ask not, them questions. Not just guys, though. All people. Yes. I have a different approach. You're going to do what I say uh -huh. when I tell you to do it. Uh -huh. Oh, questions. Felicia. I know but that's no, no, not true. No, no. I know her husband. That ain't true. Yeah, no, no, no. That's I, I definitely, um, I think, yeah, there can be influence and everything, but I've seen, like, my friends try to hope and wish and pray that a man is going to change. And I also see friends who just do too much for a man. Like, this is not your husband. This is how you're giving away so much. And as women, I think we take on that, take on too much and take on them as our our children. Like, you don't have to our cook little projects. for this. For our little <laughs> projects. And I, I, it's, it's just too much. It's too much. We're raising yeah. men. Yeah, I call it the Kardashian disorder. And I'm not being funny when mm. I say that. But, like, look at um, uh, Chloe with and, Tristan uh, or with Lamar Odom. Like, it's one thing to have an issue and stand by your man to try and help him get through it. It's another thing to pick somebody who simply just ain't right and ain't ever going to be right. Mm. Yeah. And you're sitting there saying to your girlfriends or to your family, he's going to do, he's changing, he's doing this, he's doing that. No, he's not. And there's got to be a point where you say, hey, it's all about, I picked my partner because I love her and she's great. She also makes me a better person. I hope I do that for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when it's balanced and that's why, that's when it's good. But if you sit there and if she was ever sitting there saying, he's never going to change this, he's always going to be like this. I'd have to advise her to get as far away as possible. You gotta identify when it's no longer healthy mm -hmm. and when it's no longer benefiting you. And you gotta be selfish in that regard. You yeah. do, and women are not selfish enough. You, you gotta be equally yoked. I think that's a good key. I think you're plenty selfish. Uh, well, oh, you know, but, is that a <laughs> this is my girl. The right amount of selfishness <laughs> will take you far.